I've been crocheting wrong all these freaking years? Who knew? Hi, Yarn of Bees. It's me, Sandy. Okay, I'm going to be completely transparent right now. And this video is going to embarrass me to no end. <laughs> but um, I just had a major aha moment. And I'm really hoping that this is going to help out some newer crocheters and maybe even some crocheters that have been crocheting for a little while. I have been crocheting since 2008. Okay. I haven't been crocheting all my life. Okay. My mom passed away in 2008 and I started crocheting shortly after that. Uh, and I'm always learning new things. I'm trying to make uh, my tutorials beginner friendly. Um, I try because I'm a very visual person. Okay. I'm terrible with numbers. I was so when I'm counting my stitches and everything, I mess up more times than not. Uh, I started thinking that maybe I was dyslexic, um, but I'm not. But I have a really hard time with numbers. That's why when I'm counting my stitches, I have to have complete silence uh, so that I can focus. And so when I tried doing, say, the divine hat, I could not for the life of me figure it out. I was frustrated. I, I was, I just, I hated it. And I couldn't figure out why everybody thought it was such a wonderful hat, right? And it's beautiful when it's done. My issue, there's another hat that, sorry, I've got fluff on me, um, yarn fluff. There's other hats that I have stayed away from for this reason. Okay, any kind of hat that starts at the very top, that has like a double crochet, a front post, double crochet, front post, stuff like that. And it's ribbed all the way through the hat. I have stayed away from. If you notice on my tutorials and you notice on my patterns, all of my hats start with the beanie start. And then when you stop increasing, then I do the pattern, right? Today, I had a massive aha moment, okay? I started doing a bag o day ribbed pattern for a, um, a, bacla a bel balaclava, a ski mask, <laughs> balaclava, there we go. Uh, and it was terrifying me because I'm going, oh, it's starting the ribbing right from the very top. And I, I was just like, I can't do this. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. <clears throat> I'm telling you right now, like her, her patterns are wonderful. Like she explains everything. But again, the whole pattern was starting to confuse me when I got to a certain point. I think it was row five. I started getting confused because then she started switching up the stitching a little bit. Um... I had to, I have to really focus on the stitch count and everything. And I get, I can get really frustrated and angry and just go, forget it. I'm not doing it. I suddenly got this aha moment where the problem that I was having with this, and this is going to sound really, you guys, you think that I, I, can do anything and I can make clothing and I could, but you know what? There was one simple fact that I didn't quite understand. And I don't know how I got this far in my crochet without understanding this. Okay. I just went along crocheting and this is why I say my mom crochets through me because 
all this time I've been crocheting and going along and everything's working out fine and everything. But I did not understand the construction of a stitch. Okay. And like I said, I'm really embarrassed to talk about this because all this time I've been crocheting, making beautiful things. And it wasn't until this exact moment that I kind of went, oh my God, why didn't I know this? And why didn't I, why didn't anybody ever talk to me about this? Why didn't, you know, people tell you how to do stitches and how to like do a double crochet, a single crochet, a half double crochet, a back post, a front post. They tell you how to do that, but they don't actually explain the construction of that stitch and which stitch you go into. So I'm going to show you something that just blew my mind. Hi guys. Okay. So this is the beginning of my hat. Okay. <laughs> I just, I can't even believe this. This is crazy. Okay. This kind of a hat with the ribbing just scared me to death because I could not, I, sorry, my phone's going crazy on me. I could not figure out the stitching in between and like do, doing the front post was fine and all that stuff. But something in here was always confusing me. Okay, I'm going to bring you in a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm probably going to get teased a lot from crocheters that have been cro crocheting for <laughs> most of their life. And this, this is really hard for me. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm being completely transparent. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Now, we all know that this is a double crochet, this is a double crochet, this is a double crochet, this is a front post double crochet, right? Okay, but when you're doing stuff like this, the one thing that always was confusing me when I was doing my counting and stuff is which side of the double crochet is actually the stitch. Okay. So when you're going around and you're starting this, you're going, okay, there's three, two double crochets in here bef before the front post. Okay. There's one here. I'm like, what? How, how, what? How do I get two double crochets in here when I've only got one to play with? <laughs> Holy man. Because I did not consider this a stitch, right? I think I considered this the same stitch as this. Okay. But in actuality, where's my pin here? You got to look at your stitches as if they're a P. Okay. There. Oops. Yeah, I'll get a piece of paper here. And when you're doing your stitches, They look like this. Okay. <laughs> this just cracks me up. So when you're here and you're looking at your stitches, this front, this stitch right here is a P. Okay this front post 
is a P. This post or this stitch is a P. It's a P. All right. So when <laughs> I always thought that it was the other way around and that this stitch here was actually here. I can't believe that. So this stitch is your first stitch and you go in here. Okay, this stitch is a post. Okay, so you've got your, this stitch here counts and it's two stitches and here's your post. So you're going to do your front post here. Okay. Here is your P. So that's your first stitch. Here's your second stitch. It's a P. Your next stitch is a front post and it's a P. So you're going to go underneath there. Now this may seem really easy and obvious to most crocheters, but, but let me tell you, when you're doing your increases, I honest to God didn't know which side that I was supposed to go on to get my count right. Okay? It was not obvious to me because I didn't realize, I, I did not think that this counted as a stitch because I thought it was part of this. So I was going in here, in here, in here, and then doing my post. And I was not getting my count right. I could not figure out for the life of me what I was doing wrong. Okay? So whether it's a half post, double crochet, double crochet, um, single crochet, like what your stitches are P's. So this, your you're working on the right side of your stitch, not the left side. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? This, this just made a world of difference for me. <laughs> and I'm really hoping that I don't sound like a complete idiot. But it occurred to me that maybe there's other people out there that are having the same problem as me, thinking that this was your stitch. It's not, it's this. I, I, this just blew my mind. I mean, like I say, I've been crocheting since 2008 and nobody explained to me which side of the stitch you're supposed to work on. So all this time that I've been trying to do rib stitching or, you know, different kinds of stitches, I've been working on the wrong side for the most part. Um, or I've been working on the right side, but I, my count was different because I wasn't counting, I was counting too many, right? So I'd be going one, two, three, and going into the post. When in actuality, this whole thing is the post. <laughs> so, okay, uh, I mean, that just, I'm going to sound like a really big idiot here. I know I am. And, I just, oh man, so I, I, I hope this helps others out there that, you know, maybe didn't know this but uh yeah so that's all i have to tell you guys <laughs> um 
I'm going to talk to you later. 